Scene Depth Calculator is a tool to output the depth value between object and camera. And using the depth value to drive any depth related tools, such as Zeta Focus, Deep Crop, Deep Color Correct, Normalize Depth for Haze, etc. And I will share one of my tricks to use this to propagate sequence to keep consistency between shots. In the previous version, users had to set frame range, camera and target only works on a single node, and had to press the calculate button for every update. In 2.0, I simplify the entire process. Users only link the camera and target, then the result will be calculated instantly. And also support node stack, because it is using world matrix data. Then you can use the value from the result to drive any depth related tools. and the value will lock on the target object. It could be good to drive the rack focus on a shot by animate the target. You can use an offset knob to do any offset adjustment, and the result will auto-update. I have this knob locked. That's because I prevent users change the expression or put an animated keyframe by mistake. But users still can unlock this knob by clicking this button. The result can be inverted by clicking this button, depending on the kind of depth data you are using. If you need more information, you can check out the previous version video. Let me share one of my methods to using this camera depth data to propagate other shots. So this is a master shot, and the look depth had been done on one frame. The house is the target, and appears in every shot. The camera distance is 30. One of the two denos is blur, and the value is 10. In the other shot, the distance between camera and the house is 12. So what's the value of blur can achieve the same look as a master shot? In the master shot, 10 divided by 30, then we know every distance unit will increase 0.33 of blur. Let's turn this into a graph. X is distance. Y is blur. Every one unit of distance, we have 0.33 blur increase. But think about that. In photography, when object get closer to camera, the blur value will be larger. So we should flip the curve. 10 is our middle point here. When the distance hits 0, the blur size will be 20. Look at the equation of the curve. Y equals mx plus b. m is the slope value. b is the y-intercept when x equals 0. The slope we have got is 0.33. But we flip the slope, so the value is minus 0.33. When x is equal to 0, y-intercept is 20. So b is 20. So the full equation is y equals minus 0.33 multiply distance of the shot, plus 20. So the blur value on this shot is 16. His method can apply to any 2D nodes, such as blur, erode, glow, etc. When I templatize the setup from master shot, I can use this camera distance to propagate shots with a consistency look for the first pass. Other changes will go to artistic decision. Hope you find this tool useful. Let me know if you run into any problems or get more ideas. Enjoy!